started out as a student at the Stratum Community College, Stratum Campus, and then I ended up working there when I transferred over here. And it's taken me, oh Lord, 10 years to get my associates that I wanted. Um, so I finally had that, I got that last May. And my daughter is just graduated in June from high school. So she will be, she had gotten accepted to Plymouth State. Um, she did fantastic on her SAT. She did fantastic on the Accuplacer test that she came here and took at 16. Um, and there's no way she could have, we could have bought from the state. Mm -hmm. There was just no way. And What's the tuition how, there? What is your number? It was going to be about 15000 a year. Yeah. I um, I <clears throat> And because Plymouth State is so far from where we live, mm -hmm. we would have no choice but her to be a resident. Yeah. So I talked to her, she's like, well, I can't do it because there's no way I can get enough financial aid to cover the cost of living there. Yeah. There's, there's, there's no way, the, the resources are not there. Mm -hmm. So I talked to her and I said, listen, go to the community college, pick one of them. It doesn't have to be Manchester, pick one, there's seven of them. She says, yeah. I said, do your first two years. So we're completing her first two years, and she's going to save thousands and thousands of dollars. Yeah. But me being an employee here, she will get a discount, but still Pell is not enough to cover no. the difference. No. She still has no choice but to take loans to cover the difference. And that's not counting cost of living or anything else. Yeah. That's just her education. And that's not even counting books. Yeah. That's an added. And that cost, and the price of books is so off the wall. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, this, uh, there's got to be some, I don't know my thoughts, but this, uh, my thing is there's got to be some someplace, somewhere. I mean, I don't know where the funding for any of this plan would be coming from. Well, the savings we get on some of the stuff by having these auctions instead of allowing them to It's still going to leave a gap. A gap. It's still going to leave a gap in that ultimately any gaps that are left usually fall on the taxpayers. Well, we ought to take some of the um, priorities. And there ought to be some things like the Iraq War and other things. We so have people have some control passing that cost down. I, I agree with you there. But, I mean, things like the cost of books is so off the wall. I mean, for one book, for one class, it was over $100 for the book. Yeah. And if you go to sell it back to the bookstore or put it on eBay or wherever they're putting them now, I mean, you're offered 10 or 15 dollars for a yeah. book that cost you for one semester that you haven't written in because you wanted to see if you could sell it back or something yeah. and some of these I mean I was fortunate as far as my books go but some of these students are spending all kinds of money on books and they don't have it yeah. and it's 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 affecting their education and the choices for education that's why I care about it that's why we're here